with the return of Invincible Season 2 Part 2 and the honest, honest outpour of y'all supporting any Invincible content that I ever put on this channel, bro. I thought that it was finally time that I break down some of the most menacing ass characters in all of Invincible. Now, keep in mind, you know, obviously after we cover Omni-Man, cover the early parts of Battle Beast, there will be comic spoilers. And, you know, obviously, if you don't want comic spoilers, once that part comes up, you can, you know, <laughs> not leave though, mute it, let it play all the way through. I need that watch time. So let's start off, bro. First and foremost, let's talk about Omni-Man. We have to get this out the way, bro. One of the most menacing ass dudes that I've ever seen in Invincible, bro. And we all know why. First and foremost, bro, he murdered all of his friends and the guardians of the globe bro we've talked about this a thousand times bro this nigga omni man shows up after realizing that his son mark grayson has a ton of powers by the way he's also a piece of shit to his son mark grayson bro see they're training everything is cool bro and this dude omni man takes it upon himself to punch the shit out of his own son in the sternum hard as a bitch to try to see where he's at endurance and durability wise bro you got your son on the ground gasping for air you done knocked all the wind out of this nigga bro you're a true menace <laughs> dad why did you do that oh damn son i, I know you're hurt right now but <sighs> listen man how do you think your mom feels every time i put my super duper dick in her you know she feels this pain every night she eats that son I need you to be a man man up little nigga that's life and after beating the shit out of his son which is you know honestly just the start of the actual insane ass whipping he gives not only his son but all of chicago later in the series we're not there yet but we will he decides to kill all of the guardians of the globe because honestly fuck the guardians of the globe bro what the fuck are they gonna do and you know what that's true omni man what are they gonna do bro is the question you should have asked yourself why did you murder them what are they gonna do i mean i guess eventually you're gonna have to murder them anyway so it makes sense bro but here's omni man in this fucking room defeating all of diet justice league bro we got fucking red rush i've talked about this nigga a thousand times bro this rip off mountain dew ass nigga and he thinks he's fucking barry allen but these fucking hands aren't fast enough my guy you're punching nothing getting your brain squeezed into oblivion fake ass wonder woman she's trying to attack this dude omni man with a mace that's not gonna work bro he uses the mace to murder this nigga here fake ass batman gets punished nigga got a black and mild and the swisher sweet in his utility belt it doesn't matter bro he got punished as well immortal i don't even know who this is this nigga is just trash fucking omni man this nigga sucks nigga immortal he can't die you just have to keep his head and reattach it or some shit to his body nigga apparently been around since the goddamn inauguration of, of abraham lincoln bro this nigga sucks and then we got goddamn fish man which is fucking mermaid guy whatever the fuck his name is this dude fucking sucks too bro I, what the, why does this nigga look like one of those fish that you get and you hit the button and it starts singing bro i think i love you Dan <laughs> nigga look like a dick sporting goods fish bro looks like something my fucking uncle would have caught when he went fishing bro respectfully what kind of fucked up deformed body is this nigga what do you want fish food one of the most gruesome things i've ever seen him do is this right here bro he takes his son and mushes his body through a fucking subway car bro there are just people here exploding blood and guts everywhere we're gonna have to censor the shit out of this video by the way whoever's editing it because my god this is gonna get age restricted if we don't this dude is terrible bro murders everybody here kills mad people in chicago beats the shit out of his son beats the fuck out of everything cecil sends at him and then he got the audacity to call his own wife a pet editor roll the clip i do love your mother but she's more like a a pet to me a pet this is the only way mark don't touch me As you can see here, this dude Omni Man is a piece of shit. Talking about think, Mark, think. Nigga, what is he supposed to think about how you're a terrible dad? Well, why are you doing this? This dude, Mark, his simp ass, bro. He's like, what do you have after all of this, Mark? Huh? What have you, dad? Sorry ass nigga, bro. No. Man, you over here sucking your daddy dick, bro. So obviously Omni Man loses his fucking composure at this point and flies away. Now we don't know what's happening with him until we get to season two. Then we realize that he went to Flaxa or like not Flaxa. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Fucking 
those uh, insect ass aliens live there bro that they age super fast now we find out once this man omni man sets up this fake ass fucking call to earth yo mark i need help he sends his guy to bring mark there bamboozles him we find out that he has an affair with another bitch that's an alien there has a son now this dude mark got this fucking brother who, who ages super fast this dude gets super strong super fast bro like what is even happening right now and that is how season two you know part one ends bro it ends with this dude mark realizing he has a brother that and omni man's like i need help and it ends with omni man and invincible fighting the vilture mice that are there now that you have seen that this dude omni man is a fucking crazy serial killer piece of shit that has literally been a terrible dad calls his wife a pet we're going to get into comic territory now because it gets worse but before we get to comic territory for omni man actually let's wait let's wait a second guys and let's talk and cover the early parts of battle beast and then we'll get into it okay so battle beast as all of you know is this guy right here a deadly foe who we've seen in season one of invincible do despicable things to everybody in this room right here the current guardians of the globe that were there they all get punished by this nigga now everybody else here they start kind of winning against they kind of fight back and start winning against this dude battle beast is a demon bro respectfully everything that he does in this scene right here let me knew that he was going to be a very powerful threat moving forward i didn't know how but at some point it was going to happen now this dude battle beast is all about fighting bro he doesn't care about anything else he doesn't do stuff for money he does things to find very strong opponents opponents that could actually you know put up a good fight now we got this big ass cinder block dude here fighting a battle beast bro and nothing is working on this nigga battle beast picks him up choke slam him like he's the undertaker knees him in his face and then throws him into some rubble now obviously this dude mark is mad as shit bro they're in here trying to fucking murder him he's losing his fucking mind bro killing everybody in the room but here comes battle beast stiff arming the shit out of this dude mark and slamming his head to the ground now mark is fighting battle beast and getting fucking stomped on punch bro hitting him with a tech and juggle combo he mink mink knee slams him to the ground knees him in his stomach this dude mark gets up and starts hitting a 360 spin and falls onto the ground looking like a big ass bitch right now i'm not gonna lie you got the robot guy over there with the mask on i know where your family lives y'all remember that nigga sounded like t-pain so the guardians of the globe show up they start jumping everybody here bro and that's when we learn that these niggas that are with battle beast are kind of ass but battle beast is not ass so battle beast starts it off by blocking robots little ass blast hits him with fucking thor's hammer nigga knocks him the fuck out his ear then twitches after knocking out fucking monster girl and he starts beating the shit out of this dude mark bro and i'm not gonna lie bro we then see omni man outside watching as this is happening as this man mark is getting disemboweled punished bro one of his eyes fucking blood vessels break fucking eyes all red rex is like oh my god what the fuck is going on this dude battle beast is licking the blood off of his fur because he's insane so then we got the dude black samson i think his name is or whatever the fuck bro he runs up bro and gets done up fast as shit bro battle beast grabs this nigga like boy if you don't get your fucking black ass the fuck out of here black history month is over slams him on the ground throws him on a fucking wall got him laying there like a rag doll right now bro everybody's mad monster girl runs up gets tossed like a fucking salad bro look at her oh my god hits her with the boom then he stomps on her fucking chest picks up two stones and slams it into her head bro robot gets up he's mad as shit he hits him with a big ass blast it actually does a little bit of damage she like oh okay nigga you got this big ass blast going on and shit you gonna burn my arm and shit and after we got monster girl on the ground with her fucking skull exposed we got invincible on the ground looking fucking terrible this man battle beast realizes that these niggas are trash bro that all of these niggas are out here weak as shit none of these dudes are putting up a good fight at all and he decides to leave because he doesn't fight weak ass niggas bro you feel me my man battle beast puts in pain on people that deserve to get pain put in on and none of these niggas deserve it now that we're done talking about early parts of battle beast bro we're gonna get into the comic territory remember i told you please don't leave bro don't leave bro just sit here and mute it so we can get that wise time bro i'll give you all a countdown Three, two, one, go! 
All right, back to Omni Man real quick. This nigga Omni Man is out of pocket. So after he, you know, does the things in what we've seen in Invincible, bro, he then at some point spins the block on his old wife, the one he called a pet, ends up rekindling with her because he's a fucking grade A gaslighter and everything is normal. This nigga Omni Man is a menace, bro. He's not shit. But speaking of, you know, not shit, bro, we have to talk about Thrag for a second. Now we're going to finish off Battle Beast part here, okay? Because Thrag and Battle Beast actually have one of the craziest, if not the craziest fights in all of Invincible that lasted three issues and they fought for multiple days, bro. So this nigga Thrag is on the run at this point because he does something terrible that we'll talk about later, bro. But he's on the run and he ends up going to the planet where all the fucking aliens are that age super fast because he knows that if he goes there, he can have a bunch of kids with him and he can use them in this big ass war that also happens later. <sighs> this nigga Thrag is not shit already a menace, bro, for showing up to this situation and automatically off rip deciding that he's going to mate with this other alien race because the Viltrumites have turned on him for some dumb shit he did. See, Thrag, for those of you that don't know, is the fucking menace, bro. He was the former leader of the Viltrumites, bro. Had a rule with an iron fist. The strongest Viltrumite there is outside of Conquest. But again, he's on the run. Now he gets here, bro, and Battle Beast gets sent by the Coalition, which is the, the organization run by Alan Alien at this point to basically stop the Viltrum Empire. Now he sends Battle Beast to this planet to stop this nigga Thrag. Ring, ring, ring. Pick up the phone, nigga. Ring, ring, ring. Yo, what's good? Uh, hey, yo, Battle Beast, um, I need you to do me a favor, bro. Uh, yeah, what you need, bro? I need you to take your luscious ass mane, nigga. Yeah. Sexy ass fur. Hey, 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 yo, bro. Pause, bro. All right, my, my, my fault. My fault, bro. You just look good. But listen, though, I need you to take your fake ass Lion King symbol looking ass to the uh, to the planet where the fucked up aliens is at. Drag is there, bro. He about to mate with all them aliens. I need you to show up there and I need you to put that pain in on him, bro. I'm showing why you the king of the fucking jungle, nigga. Man, you had me at fight. So this dude, Battle Beast, hang up, shoot over to where Thrag is at. He shows up, bro, but he's not there to help the coalition. He's only there to find a worthy opponent. But as all of this is happening, the Ragnars show up. Now, these Ragnars, these niggas right here, these ugly ass niggas right here with the long ass faces, with the, with the, with the, with the super oozy nose, <laughs> these niggas are very dangerous to Viltrumites. They can pierce their skin. They're very powerful and they be fucking up Viltrums, bro. It's just, it, it is what it is. So this nigga Thrag is disemboweled off the rip by one of these niggas, bro. And this man Battle Beast is pissed that they hit his opponent. So he murders all of them with ease. Bro, come on, bro. You just saw Thrag struggling with one. This dude Battle Beast killed all of them. That is why this fight is some bullshit, but we're not there yet. So he kills all the Ragnars, you feel me? But this man Thrag is injured. Now this nigga Battle Beast is fucking an idiot. He wants no disadvantage in this fight. So he disembowels himself, bro. He was like, fuck no, my stomach hurt. I ate Taco Bell yesterday. I'm about to cut my stomach open. At this point, this man Battle Beast is a true savage, a true menace, bro. Disembowel himself so we could keep the fight even? Oh, that nigga's the truth. So these dudes fought for days at this point. They destroyed an entire city, bro. Now, at some point during the fight, this dude Thrag throws Battle Beast up to try to get an advantage of him. See, Battle Beast can't fly. He can't breathe in space, things like that. Thrag's trying to take advantage of, you know, the flight discrepancies here. And then it doesn't even matter because as soon as he does it, this dude Battle Beast throws Thrag to the ground in a fucking fit, a rage, bro. These dudes had an endless fight, which spanned across three different issues, bro. Fought for days. And eventually, this dude Thrag landed a killing blow on Battle Beast, bro, because Battle Beast was weakened. Remember, he disemboweled himself. He fought all the Ragnars prior. If he was 100% and didn't have to deal with the Ragnars and didn't disembowel himself, oh yeah, he definitely would have won this, bro. Now, Battle Beast is on the ground. He's like, thanks, nigga. All I ever wanted was a strong opponent. And nigga, that wasn't you, bro. You're kind of trash. But I'm going to let you have it, nigga, because I'm disemboweled and all that, man. Goddamn stomach out, nigga. I look like I got gastric bypass surgery and shit, nigga. God damn, nigga. And this dude, Thrag, takes his heart out, kills him. Now, the thing that's fucked up and why Thrag is such a fucking menace, bro, is because after killing this dude, Battle Beast, and winning in a way where it wasn't a 100% fight, he then takes the whole fur of this dude, Battle Beast, and he wears it on his back. 
as kind of a memento kind of showing everybody here like hey yeah i killed battle beast i'm the one that killed him and i wear that shit on my back though hold that shit on my back though you feel me like that's out of pocket even more out of pocket though is that the reason why all this happened you know i wanted to get to this point is that thread killed the former emperor now the, the why this is a big deal is because we find out that nolan the omni man is of royal descent and he killed the emperor to stop omni man from rising to power which is why all the viltrumites you know once they find out they turn on him because then he turns the Viltrumite empire into nazi space niggas bro he turns them into space nazis has them running around taking over people's planets genociding entire races for no reason trying to find a way to survive we wouldn't have had to have that happen if we had an actual leader that could have put us in a better position but you want to fuck niggas up and now we're fucking hitler bro that's terrible so anyways moving on bro these niggas end up fighting later on him and mark bro they're fighting in the fucking sun which is insane this fight is super crazy and i also want to cover mark here a little bit because he definitely did some menace and shit now they're fighting on the sun on some superman shit drag admits that he didn't do this because he actually cares about viltrumites he doesn't do this because he cares about his people no he's doing this for revenge he's mad about omni man because he feels like omni man is the reason their bloodlines fucked up so he's like i'm gonna fuck up yours i'm gonna fuck my bloodline up i'm gonna fuck yours up and i'm not gonna lie i kind of feel him there because omni man's an idiot bro he could have kept the viltrumites alive if they made it with those dumbass aliens so i mean i kind of get it but it, it, this man mark is talking crazy so thrag tries to leave mark bro after the sun explodes mark says now fuck that grabs him and says you're gonna die here even if i have to which is crazy so he throws mark off mark almost gets burnt too his back you feel me motherfucker back is charred up got some dead skin on it and all that this man like fuck that and flies into him bro so this man mark grab him again and he flies into the sun this time now when they fly into the sun bro both of their skins have melted off bro and he's punching the shit out of bro bro which is crazy in the middle of them fighting though robot sends armor up there and wraps it around this man mark now this is where mark starts talking crazy yeah nigga you see my mans this is my oppa he helped me where you help at bitch ass nigga nobody helping you nobody love you nigga you saw nigga you never been a real nigga nobody fuck with you boy your name thrag nah nigga it's a drag to be around you nigga you're trash bro he started talking crazy to this dude thrag telling him nobody loves him beating the shit out of him bro nigga where's your help it's crazy said he got no love like 21 savage bro so the armor melts off bro and in the midst of this happening mark bites this nigga's throat from him bro takes his throat out murders him bro. and bro did all of this for revenge which is crazy bro insane insane work but you know what's even more insane work bro one of the most threatening niggas and i know that y'all probably saw the thumbnail y'all was ready for this you was weighing on this one bro conquest bro let's get this nigga out the way so he shows up during the big ass war bro the mark war bro or the invincible war shows up bro Viltrumite sends him here but he admits off rip that he don't give a fuck about what the Viltrumites want that he's only here to fight conquest versus battle beast would have been crazy that's the fight that i really wanted to see but battle beast would have did that nigga dirty i'm not gonna lie so these niggas is going crazy the entire time the whole time that they're fighting every time mark punches this dude throws him into a building he starts smiling this nigga is a masochist a freaky frog if you will bro talking about <laughs> yeah daddy that's what i like he's like hey yo like what you mean bro this boy out here smiling so you see that this dude likes to get hurt bro obviously so mark punches this nigga into orbit but none of that shit works bro he grabs this dude mark and launches him all the way back down now the entire time that mark is getting punished by conquest his little brother and his family and everybody bro even adam eve they're watching this on the news bro now his brother flies into action he's like nah fuck that get your hands off my brother bro but he's about to get mark killed he can't even keep up with them at this point he gets tossed like he's nothing now obviously at this point mark is getting fucked up adam eve's like nah fuck that she goes to help mark but as soon as she gets there that bitch gets punished too bro shows up and then the conquest impales her puts his hand through her whole chest 
Oh my God. So Mark goes crazy, goes berserk, obviously, bro. And he punches this nigga hard as shit and breaks this cybernetic arm. Motherfucker was out here with a Thanos glove. But at this point, Adam knows that she needs to help. But she wakes up and breaks her limiter, heals herself, and hits this nigga with some crazy external ass blast, which burns most of his skin and distracts him. Now, since he's distracted now with skins all fucked up, Mark has a chance and he ends up landing a crazy ass headbutt that kills this nigga. I'm not gonna lie, yo, killing a nigga with a headbutt is insane work, bro. Respectfully, like. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Imagine you fighting somebody, a grown ass man, bro. You're a strong ass Viltramite and you die to a headbutt, bro. Respectfully, somebody would have had to get shot. And just like that, Conquest is dead. But we had to put him on the list because he's one of the most menacing people in this show. Bro showed up on some Battle Beast time and just won in the fight. Next up, though, on the list, we got to talk about Anissa. Literally, the only thing Anissa did that was crazy that I put on the scene, she raped Mark. Yes, raped this nigga. Moving on robot bro oh my god bro matter of fact no scratch robot bro let's go to angstrom levy first bro this nigga angstrom levy is out of pocket started a whole war arc bro a whole mark war so for those of y'all that don't know been living under a rock basically he wants to help trillions of people so he goes around and he's trying to collect all the different versions of himself so they can come together he can collect them and put them into one brain that he has to control them and to help the world bro so he goes and gets the mauler twins these blue niggas bro out here looking like the blue man group and all that now this man invincible shows up and sees them he starts fighting them they're beating the shit out of them they're about to kill them because they got a bunch of them bro they got like different versions of the the mauler twins there they start jumping they're about to kill mark angstrom takes the helmet off like no stop it and then it explodes and now this nigga looks like a nasty uh, accumulation of just brain matter and, and veins and shit this nigga is ugly as fuck bro so he ends up leaving bro after he's after this because he's super mad he's all fucked up and ugly now bro and he feels like mark is a terrible person he leaves he meets these guys that end up enhancing his body and he comes back and steals this nigga invincible's mom and his brother bro which is crazy now him and mark start fighting he sends mark to these talking dinosaurs bro in this different universe now he's telling them yo mark i got all these different universes for you to go through if you live through all of them i'ma let you rock my guy if you die you die ivan drago nigga so they end up eventually going through all of these different dimensions but he gets back and starts fighting angstrom but angstrom is actually strong this time and a little durable they end up going to this wasteland in mojave you feel me like it's fucking fallout new vegas but he starts beating the shit out of angstrom levy thinking that he's more durable than he is he's not bro but angstrom's like fuck that he ends up escaping and he recovers obviously bro so this whole time that he's recovering he's going to different universes and collecting a bunch of different marks to create this whole mark invincible war bro where he wants the whole world to see how dangerous mark is and he wants you know not for mark to die but for it to be terrible for him like nobody trusts you nobody loves you anymore nigga fuck is you talking about so after he does this bro the invincible war happens bro and obviously all the marks beat the shit out of everybody it's too many marks bro but angstrom sends all the marks away to the wasteland area and you know he escapes because he doesn't want to kill mark he wants his life to be ruined and now everybody's seen all these marks do this fucked up shit so nigga takes adam eve bro after he thinks that mark dies see mark got found by one of these like dinosaur niggas i, I forgot this guy's name i'm not gonna lie but angstrom thinks that mark is daddy so he goes after his loved ones bro he goes and he finds adam eve now he also goes to a different dimension and finds one of the marks eating the other ones that mark is going to be important to remember him bro so anyways adam eve talks this nigga off the ledge and he's like look bro you're you're on some bullshit she starts telling him about how he's terrible and all the fucked up things he's doing isn't worth it and that he could be so much more of a help to the world and he's lost his way obviously angstrom agrees and he's like cool you know i'm gonna let this shit go even though you over here looking like orphan andy with this red hair you looking like the windy mascot but you know i'm gonna let it go now this other mark shows up and takes this nigga into a different dimension which is important because once mark and robot go to find angstrom they see that this nigga is getting tortured tied up fucked up by this mark this is where robot kills angstrom levy and also strands this nigga mark there for months and it's all because robot had the idea of world domination now i gotta give you the prerequisites for this now before i even do this robot is fucking weird he eventually in the story takes rex's dna and becomes a child 
because he wants as a grown man to date a woman that also looks like a child that nigga's weird for that i could have left i could have just said that and left that on the minutes list bro respectfully that is insane but anyways this man goes to this place called flaxa now flaxa is that one place that you know omni man beat up all them niggas in the beginning uh in uh, season one he's like oh this isn't your earth the rule this is my earth da, 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 da. and he murders all of them and shit all right all right cool this nigga goes to this planet they end up actually getting captured bro they're there for like four years and, and monster girl is used for like coliseum shit bro they're using her to fight niggas like she's the incredible hawk which is crazy now robot stays there and he ends up ruling them he stays there to rule and he's like let's not go back to earth let's stay here and rule they end up staying there for a thousand years nigga a thousand now obviously monster girl ends up betraying them and then getting them back and they finally go back to earth bro but they lie and say they've been gone for 12 years not a thousand which is crazy but this nigga has a plan but before he leaves he also tells them to murder all the flaxons bro <sighs> this nigga different bro it's too many hitlers in the story but anyways so he comes back bro and this is basically when he tells everybody that his plan is for world domination because he ruled another place for a thousand years bro and because of that now he feels like he's the only one that can rule this world now mark ends up coming back months later bro right he's trying to kill this nigga he forces this dude robot's hand robot kills cecil in front of him cuts adam eve's leg off and at this point bro he goes on a rampage and many 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 people die but the world is actually in a better position bro he starts thriving under this nigga's rule which is crazy so mark doesn't want to kill him right away because he's like nah the world is kind of in a better place but i don't want to live here so him and adam eve decide to leave now they leave earth because again it's thriving but they don't want to like end that for other people but they just don't want to be under this nigga's rule and i get that but eventually after the whole war with uh the the viltrums and thrags and and and, and mark's fighting everything this nigga robot takes it upon himself to try to murder all of the Viltramite children because he thinks they're going to be threats in the future, which I mean, he's not wrong, but that's kind of crazy. So during this, Mark convinces all the Viltramites to go and to combat this nigga to overthrow him. He eventually grabs robot's body, flies him into space, and robot is talking heavy still, bro. This is why he's a menace. Nigga, you can't kill me. If you kill me, Earth will not thrive anymore also you're in space right now with this tight ass spandex on nigga i know your nuts hurt man, man, fuck you man and he decides to kill robot's body but keep his brain so now they got this nigga robot's brain in a test tube to help him keep earth like thriving but he has no way to do anything else which is kind of crazy but i mean it is what it is bro this nigga is putting in true pain bro i can't believe that this dude robot is such a menace like this bro and that concludes the most menacing people in invincible bro if you have any questions or there's any other things you would like me to cover please let me know and if this video gets at least 4,000 likes i will do a hood review of all of invincible bro from the beginning to end bro <laughs>